All right, it's time to start our chapter three insane run. Applause, applause, applause. I know, we're almost done with this, and then we, um, all we have to do is wait for chapter five. Oh wait, what is that? It's a, it's a news report. It's coming in under Morse code. Let me, just everyone be quiet. I can, I can translate this, don't worry. It's saying there's a clone drone key, steam key giveaway. Just look at the pinned comment or description and click the link and you can get it. Wow, amazing. All right, I know that was some breaking news. So let's go to um, chapter three. We're gonna start chapter three because we've already played chapter three, but not on insane mode. I mean, you know. oh yeah, this is a new thing. They added a loading screen for chapter three since it's so much bigger. Stand so we have here, we have a cutscene. This is the first real major attempt at a cutscene cut cut scenes in a clone drone. Every living thing on the planet. I do like it. I do like. I think they really should remaster chapter one and two because this is does this adds like an extra layer and gives you like some sort of idea like what's going on. It gives a lot of exposition, but obviously they can't do too much work. But I think they should add more cutscenes to chapter one and two. But I don't know, or just re remaster it. I, I I don't know. I feel like chapter one and two are just very lacking because they're basically a copy and paste of the same chapter over and over again. The only really difference is replayability, and that's replayability goes into endless, right? So, chapter one and two are just so. Here we go. This minus one bug, bug. So we, even though I restarted the restarted chapter three, it's still giving me minus three. So we already we already put our points in. So we put one in jetpack and one in flame breath and one in energy on this one. And over here we only got two points, so we put one in jetpack and the finish off the energy. Uh, it seemed like, so that's what we're what we're going with. I don't know, the minus one, I don't know why it's there. It's an odd bug, to say the least. So this, this map in particular is a mess map. I keep saying map, but I mean, this is one complete map in a way, I believe. It's pretty big. So we want, this uh, new chapter introduces uh, the idea of switching people and also adds checkpoints to, uh, to a degree. So this is pretty cool. So you have like uh, switching and checkpoints. I don't, although, I don't think they use the switching thing more than once. They use it in this chapter and this chapter alone. I don't think it's in chapter four, but we'll see when we go into chapter four if, if the, the the swaps there. I know there is a mind swap thing they use in chapter four, which is kind of like this, but like instead of it being manual. Oh no! Almost killed my guy. Instead of being manual, it's more dynamic. Anyways, let's get let's get to the mission. So we gotta go dispatch all these guys here. We do have flame breath on both of these guys, so let's let our ally uh, do all the damage or not. I don't know. Our goal is to kill the as many of them as quickly as possible. Uh, we're not really concerned about losing our friend, although it does stink when we lose our friend because, you know, friendship is magic and all that trash. Um, our main priority here is just killing that that guy that has a jetpack. So once we got cat, once we got that guy got, as, uh, as they say in Spain, get that guy got, you don't have to really worry about them anymore because you can just pick these guys at a distance. I mean, if we had a bow, we could, put, we could definitely womp them out because these guys don't have a uh, block arrow. Oh look, our friend's back. It's almost like losing him wasn't that big of a deal. So we're basically gonna use our, our buddy as like kind of like a tank. He goes through, uses all his fire breath, and then then we, we clean up. That's the goal, that's the mission. We just stay out of his way, every time. Now you might be asking yourself, where is Commodore Penguino? And Commodore Penguino is actually, you hear that knocking? He's at the door. So let us go and answer that door real quick. Okay guys, okay. To come laughter track and music playing. That's classic Commodore Penguino entrance. So, Commodore Penguino, tell us about where you were. Well, I just I just flew in from, from I just flew in from Ireland in my arm, and boy are my arms tired. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're a, you're a charming and hilarious one. So, let's get back into the game right now. You can uh. Tell us more of your amazing humor uh, right after these complex. Oh my god, I can't speak when I'm under uh, distress. Complex issues. Sometimes I feel like I'm I'm like stroking when I talk. Oh boy. Okay, we'll just let let our buddy handle that one. Okay. Oh boy, I'm just like not hitting the groove here. Now we're hitting the groove. Wow. Well, Melon, you really uh, you really. Hacked up that one. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, man. Yeah. All right. All right. So um, 
anyways, so let's, we're gonna basically right here going forward. We have a lot of stuff going on. We, you know, we gotta go forward. We have, these are more uh, checkpoint things. Really, nothing really to talk about. Just gotta, just gotta do. Unless you have something to say, Mr. Penguino. I, I guess we don't really have anything to talk about. Oh no, this is a bad. We didn't actually take out the Spidertron early enough. Okay, but we did do it now, so that's good. Is our guy still alive? He actually is still alive. Oh wow, he bugged through the wall. That's might be a problem. Uh, we might have to go it alone. May I mean, it is, this is insane mode. So it would make sense why he's fallen to the map, because that would be in the most insane thing possible. Wouldn't you say, ally? Although this is pretty unfortunate. <laughs> so we're gonna have to go it alone. We're gonna have to go it alone. No ally. I'm gonna miss you, friend. But never more, never more. We don't, we don't need you. Although his presence, it might actually make it really easy, because now he fell through the map and everyone's gonna try to kill him. Which is actually quite hilarious. Oh my god, he just teleported behind me. Oh my god. That scared me. He pulled a, he pulled a Houdini on you. Yeah, he definitely pulled a Houdini on me. Oh boy. Alan Glover. Houdini of Clombrone. Bop. <laughs> I love doing that. I don't know why. There's something great about like hitting a sword and watching him reflect it back. Okay, so let's we're gonna do this real quick. Womp these guys out. Which, yeah, there we go. Uh, our goal is I keep saying goal. I don't know why. I feel like I'm a broken record sometimes. But you know, you can't really you can't really beat a broken record because sometimes even a even a fixed record sounds kind of scary. But a broken record sounds really scary. Ever listened to a broken record before? Man, I sound like a broken record. But for some, but fixed records sound pretty good. <laughs> I have no idea what you're talking about. Neither do I, dude. That's just me trying to. Uh... Oh, I killed my my friend. Uh, that I'm sorry, my friends. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, uh, my Houdini hat trick friend. I didn't mean to kill you. I should have probably waited until I have energy to go do this, but that's okay. We're gonna probably end up killing this guy with arrows. Which is always funny. You're saying, what do you mean arrows? Well, we have deflection, and there's gonna be, there's so many of them, they're probably gonna shoot in the back. And they just did. So that's all we had to really worry about. Uh, we're gonna have to just play a little loosey-goosey, a little loosey-boosey. Like, you know, not really worry about the situation too much. Just, you know, stay, stay back, you know, let it let it all happen. Wait until we get some, we get top tier energy. Like, right now, we have energy out for days, and that's one guy down, and we, we move again. Oh my goodness! Actually, that's two guys down. So we actually did really well there. That we sometimes, sometimes those arrows just aren't aren't their best friend. But here we go, and we're good. So down that elevator, um, some bombs are gonna drop in three, two, one. Uh, a little little late on the timing, but we did it, and we're we're in. So uh, Pet Commodore Penguin, do you got any more jokes for us? No. I really don't actually, because the one I brought in was actually my best joke. I mean, that looks useful. do you know that song "Hold Me Closer, Tony Danza"? Yeah, everyone. No, it's "Hold Me Closer, Tiny Dancer," and that's that's a known joke where everyone mishears the lyrics and has nothing to do with Tony Danza. Well, that was like a little thing I had prepared for this kind of, but I guess we won't do it. I mean, if you want, you can sing it to us while we clear this level. Um, but I don't know if you are really willing to do it for us. Maybe I'll do it at the end of the uh, video as a special treat to our viewers. All right, if you want to do that, I'm all for it. Uh, so going forward, we are like oh, I always say going forward because you have to go forward in this game. If you don't go forward, you end up going backwards, and backwards is death. So we just gotta keep going forward. Do we have kick? We do. Alright. Oh yeah, I forgot these guys just like to fall into the laser beam too. Oh, this is one of the reasons why we probably crashed. Because I still have my mods enabled. And guess what? My mods do not like. That's right, kids. Laser beams. And jelly beams. <laughs> jelly beans. Laser beans and jelly beans. Some of the most similar things ever. So we're gonna go up this elevator, obviously. As you can see here, this is not a really an elevator. Is the elevator going up or is the floor coming down? You'll never know. 
All right, so I think over here, we do have enough energy. Okay, we just have these guys to deal with. Are not too bad, actually. These guys are pretty simple. Oh, although we did co and drop. We'll let our, we'll let our a little buddy handle everything or not. I guess he just... I think we can do this for a minute and let them... I think they'll womp each other. I was hoping for them to womp each other. I guess they didn't womp each other. Although they might have womped each other. Oh, my God. My... All right, we're we're gonna have to do it the old-fashioned way. Just gonna have to we're gonna have to fight them like we meant to fight them. All right, so we got it. We're going. We got it going. Good. We did lose our friend, but our friend is only a friend when we need him to be our friend. So we should have our friend back now. Hey, come on, Alan Glover. Let's go, you lucky dog. Let's come on, you. You're here. We love you. We miss you. We need you. Come on, Alan Glover. Okay, so we're waiting for here for a bit. We're going to, I think we, we go up here. We're going to have to have a fight with a lot bunch of stuff. So we're going to wait a second. Oh, we're going to be slow. Okay, this is an elevator, actually. So we're going to be slow, though, because we want to make sure we don't, you know, go there with no energy. Ah, oh, here it is. Fleet of Seers. So let's spread out. Usually you can get them to kill each other or just kill your friend, I guess. Uh, Alan Glover is not the brightest or sharpest tool in the shed, but we get them both. All right, Alan Glover's back. Okay, well, this is now this is a this is my favorite jump scare. Watch this. Uh, Alan Glover, you're getting don't get so, don't stand so close to me, Alan Glover. Now. Mind shaking. Oh, we got both stomped on. I'm surprised. Quick. Amelia Blun. Amelia. I wonder who the um who who is the um influence of Amelia Bun or whatever her name is. You know what I mean? Like, who, who's, who inspired Amelia to be born? Cortana, maybe? Probably Cortana, yeah? I mean, right now it's going on, they're destroying all the mainframes where she's hiding. Although, he's basically destroying his own planet, which I assume makes little to no sense, because these are machines are run by mainframes. So, wouldn't he be destroying his own people as well, as, as while this is going on? Because they're all controlled by this stuff as well, so doesn't this screw them up? But I guess not. Anyway, so here we go. It looks like we we're able to get trans, trans mind swapped or mind transferred in time, and and chapter four. Here we come. That's under chapter three. So there is some like kind of issues with the story, because if you're destroying all the these servers, which are you know owned in your planet, wouldn't you be? Wouldn't that? How would that affect your people? I don't know. Maybe they'll explore it in chapter four. I don't think they will. Anyways, thanks for watching, and uh, I guess play us out, Tony Danza. <coughs> 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 <coughs>you can hear me when I say softly slowly hold me closer tiny dancer count the headlights on the highway Lay me down in sheets of linen You had a busy day today